to have the Batchelor family with us. This family is one of the absolute neatest families, nicest families, and awesome families that I have ever met in my entire life. And I should add large families. And uh, they have a new addition that maybe you'll get to see later, but they have a new beautiful baby in the family. And uh, so anyway, we are thrilled. Would you help me welcome the Batchelor family today? glad this morning for that river of love. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you're needing love this morning, Jesus is here. Amen. And he's able to love you back. Amen. We're the Bachelor family. I tell you, we're super excited to be back here at Mena First Assembly of God. Uh, we always have a wonderful time in the Lord, and we're just looking for a wonderful time this morning. Amen. We usually tend to bring rain with us. I think that's what happened the last couple of years we've been here, but I'm just thankful for that beautiful the beautiful sun, amen, outside. Aren't you glad to be in the house of the Lord on this beautiful Sunday morning, amen? Let's just give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Praise the Lord. We're just super excited to be here, looking forward to a wonderful time. Uh, we've seen a few changes the la uh, since we've been here last. Uh, Shannon and myself recently uh, celebrated the birth of our new baby girl, uh, Miss Tabitha Faye, uh, turned four months old just a few days ago, and Already she's got me beat. She's got more hair than I got. <laughs> Which she was actually born with more hair than I got. But, uh, <laughs> but we're super excited. We, we were blessed. I love the sister's testimony. Um, that really struck a chord with me. Um, we were kind of in the same boat, Shannon and myself. And uh, we were married for three years before God blessed us with our first child. And uh, we did a lot of praying, a lot of seeking God during that time. And I remember the time we knelt down by our bedside and prayed and said, God, if you'll give us a child, we promise you, Lord, that we will raise her up or him up in the nurture and admonition of Christ. We'll give it back to you. And it wasn't long after that, Shannon was, uh, we found out that Shannon was pregnant with a child, and hence we named our first daughter Hannah as the story in the Bible. Everybody remembers the story of Hannah crying and praying for a child. And I'll tell you, God is faithful, isn't he? Aren't you glad that the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man or woman avails much, just like the Word of God says? I'm thankful this morning that he's always listening. 
is always hearing the heart's cry of his people. You know, there's no prayer that's too big or too small for God. Amen. So whatever you're holding on to this morning, we want to just encourage you to keep holding on. Because like the sister said, God is faithful. Amen. Faithful is he who called us who also will do it. But we're excited to be here. We're just three generations of Okies folks, so y'all don't hold that against us. We're just here to worship the Lord with you. We hope these songs will be a blessing and an inspiration to your heart. I do want to mention uh, uh, Samuel, my oldest boy here, is um, actually on the stage with us now. Last December, he came up and started playing the bass guitar for us and does such a wonderful job. We don't never let him off the hook anymore. So, But we're super excited to have him with us as well. And, and we got a bunch of other musicians out there with us that uh, that are tagging along and also part of this family, just as much of a part as what you see up here on the stage. They help us a lot behind the scenes, and they're also learning some instruments. So hopefully in the near future, we'll have a drummer and a piano player and a guitar player and stuff up here. So we're going to need a lot of room. <laughs> we're super excited about that. But most importantly, folks, we're excited about Jesus this morning and what he's still doing in the hearts and lives of his people. So we just want him to have this way, have his way this morning. And without further ado, I'm going to call on one of the girls, Miss Leah Grace. Where are you, Miss Leah? Y'all just make Miss Leah welcome to the stage. She's going to sing a beautiful song for you this morning called Please Remember Me.
you glad he never forgets us? Amen. Praise the Lord. Y'all just give her another hand. Didn't she do a great job?
the Son of God hung between two thieves for you and I. Amen. We, he deserves our praise. He deserves it all. He gave his life. He was praying in that garden when the, the Bible says his sweat was as great drops of blood. He was praying for you and I. He seen us coming way on down the line, didn't he? Oh, I'm so thankful for what he's done today for me. But we're excited about being here today. We're excited to share this music with you and online, and, and uh, we're getting uh, information from across the country, from radio stations that are playing our songs all across the country, and we're so excited that the message of these songs are getting out there. That's what it's about. Amen. And even in, they were playing it, uh, songs even in some foreign countries, like Pennsylvania and, and Washington and California. <laughs> I'm going to get myself in trouble, ain't it? Uh, no, we love those folks, and, and God has his people everywhere. We're just thankful that they are playing the music and the songs and messages are getting out there. And it's just wonderful to be here with you folks today. And we pray that these songs are a blessing to you. We just want you to know one thing, that God loves you. All of this is about the love of God. And we're going to call on God to do a, a song called Love Beyond All Measure. And that's what it is, folks. You cannot measure the love of God. But he so loved us, he gave us his only begotten son to die on that cross for us. Jesus Christ is the answer for whatever your need is. <laughs>
fill a holy power you cannot contain. But then your intellect wants to subdue you. Now you try to show restraint. Well, bless your soul, don't you let it fool you. Cause it's all right if you want to have a high. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Y'all do better than that. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's good to shout hallelujah every now and then, isn't it? Amen. Amen. What's the Bible say? Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Amen. How many's breathing here this morning? Praise God. I tell you, God's worth our praise. Amen. Tell you, he's done so much for us, we could never praise him enough. Amen. I tell you, there's a time in the Bible where if these little children didn't praise him, the rocks would have cried out. Amen. Amen. I tell you this morning, folks, I don't want any rocks crying out in my place. Amen. I tell you, God's worthy of our praise. I thank God that he went all the way for us to Calvary. Amen. Aren't you glad he didn't just stop halfway? Amen. Aren't you thankful this morning that when that cat of nine tails went across his back, he didn't just look back and say, God, don't you think this is going a little too far? Amen. But he went all the way for you and I this morning. Amen. He paid the ultimate price. God done what no other person could ever do for us, and that's die for us. Amen. He was the only one without spot or blemish, the only one without sin. Another person couldn't have walked up that hill. It took God and his only son to pay the price for us. He was the only one whose blood was not defiled, was not tainted with sin. He was not born after the seed of Adam this morning. But I'm thankful this morning, folks, that the blood of Jesus is still sufficient. Amen? Still able to wash the vilest sinner clean. Amen? Still able to heal the sick. Still able to grab, give us peace this morning. I tell you, I love him this morning more than words could ever say. He's such a loving Savior. We're going to call on Miss Sarah to come on up here and help us out with the song. Y'all just make Sarah welcome to the stage this morning. Amen. 
Sarah is Joanna and Jared's daughter, by the way, 13 years old, not too long ago. And I love the song she's going to sing. It's an old Mark Lowry song called Mary Did You Know. You know, a lot of people classify this song as a Christmas song, but I tell you, it's got a wonderful message. And I believe it's a song that can be sung 365 days a year. Amen. It's about the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Just listen to the words of this song. We pray that it blesses your heart.
aren't you thankful for that fountain this morning? Amen. Aren't you glad that it's still flowing today? Amen. Over 2,020 some odd years later. Amen. That fountain is still flowing. Amen. Aren't you glad you don't have to take a trip halfway around the world to go see it? Amen. You don't have to take a plane trip or a boat ride. You don't have to make a journey up Golgotha's Hill to see if that cross is still there. Amen. You can, all you got to do is take a trip on your knees. Amen. At an old-fashioned altar, by your bedside, wherever you're at, I tell you, you can call upon a merciful Savior today. Amen. And that blood of Jesus, folks, is still there. Amen. That fountain is still there where God can even set the most vilest sinner free. Amen. He can still heal the brokenhearted. Amen. And set the captive free. Open the blinded eyes. I tell you, I'm so glad that God's still on his throne today. Amen. You can, all you got to do is open the word of God and read. Yep, he's still there, still seated at the right hand of the Father on high. Amen. Make an intercession for his children. Don't you love the Lord this morning? Amen. We're going to call on Miss Rebecca to come on up here and join us on stage for a song. This is one of those, I call them oldies but goodies. It's an old Joel Hemphill song. I love it. I think it was back in the 80s when he put it out. It's called Master of the Wind. I love the words and the message in this, in, in this song, folks. You know, how many knows as Christians, we all go through storms in life. Amen. I tell you, God's never promised us a bed of roses. He said, in this world, you'll have tribulation. But I love the second part of that verse that says, but fear not, for I have overcome the world. Amen. Amen. I tell you, folks, when God is piloting your ship, no matter what storm in life you go through, no matter what trial or tribulation, if he is in control, he will sail us through on the other side. Amen. And I believe with all my heart, you'll come out with a testimony. Amen. That will be able to encourage and uplift and help someone else that's going through the same the same trial that you're going through. Listen to the words of this song. It's called Master of the Wind.
give the Lord a hand clap of praise.
sometimes we just got to let God rock our boat every now and then. Amen. Praise the Lord. How many knows we get tight kind of hard on old Apostle Peter sometimes? Amen. But you know, at least he had the courage to step out of the boat. Amen. When he seen the Lord come walking on the water. Amen, folks. Sometimes we just got to step out in faith to see God move. Amen. Amen. How many knows he'll never forsake us? Amen. He'll never leave us and he'll never fail us when we step out in faith. We're going to call on Joanna to sing a beautiful song. It's called, Lord, I'm going to serve you anyway. You know, folks, we're going through a, a lot of trying times, I believe, right now in this hour that we're living in. You know, some of the things I see taking place in the world, and the laws and things being passed, I, I never would have thought I'd been alive to see them. And I kind of shudder to think sometimes what it's going to be like when my kids reach adulthood, and what they're going to see if the Lord tarries. But you know, I believe God's allowing some things to happen to wake up his church. Amen. How many believe that? I believe lines are being drawn in the sand. There's no more fence straddling. God's saying, he that's on the Lord's side, let him cross over. And I believe every child of God has to come to a place in their personal walk with him where they make a decision, if none go with me, I'm still going to follow. No matter what the world does, Lord, I'm going to serve you anyway. Amen. Because that's the way Jesus was towards us when he paid that awful price at Calvary. He was all alone, folks. Even the disciples turned their back on him. Even Peter denied him. All forsook him. But he still walked up that hill for us. He still gave his life for us. And the least we could do is be faithful to him. Amen? And that's what this song talks about. It says, Lord, I'm going to serve you anyway.
meets a broken heart. But before he sings, I would like to just make a, do a quick testimony, if that'd be all right this morning. You know, uh, you may be, people are hurting today. There's a lot of brokenness in the world today. People's lives are in shambles in, in, in one way or another. Uh, but but I'm, I'm, we're here today, today to tell you that Jesus is the healer. There's nothing that God cannot do. I used to, I used to just for fun, I, I, I used to be a welder, and I would tell people, you know, just joking around, hey, I can weld anything from a broken heart to the crack of dawn. You know? <laughs> but let me tell you, we, we serve a God that the impossible is possible with him. With God, nothing is impossible. This family come from brokenness one time. We came from the bottom up, folks. Uh, we made the mistake of listening to the counsel of the ungodly, following the course of the world, which is so easy to do. But through repentance and prayer, God made it better than new. What I'm trying to say to you today, no matter what your situation is, Jesus is the Lord that healeth thee. God sent our healer. He sent our deliverer. He sent the answer. No matter what you're going through with today, Jesus is your answer. If you're needing peace, he is the prince of peace. Amen. He has your answer, whatever your need is. The Bible tells us in the fourth chapter of Luke, Jesus himself said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. He is sent to heal the brokenhearted. He can do that for you today. Whatever your situation is, Jesus is your answer. Listen to the words of this song. Let it bless your heart. When mercy meets a broken heart. The words will never break. And tears could never
good to see those blue skies every now and then. Amen? Praise the Lord. But aren't you glad you don't have to see to believe this morning? Amen? This thing's by faith. Amen? Aren't you glad you don't have to see him calm a storm or walk the sea? That's what this next song is called. The name of this next song is called, I Don't Have to See. felt the spirit of the Lord here this morning. Amen. Isn't God good? Let's just give the Lord another hand clap of praise. He's worthy. Amen. We're going to we're going to close with one last song and before I do I want to call on the three girls to come on up to the stage and join us in this last song. Y'all just make them welcome back to the stage. Miss Leah always bringing up the rear, huh? Amen. Aren't you glad you're part of his family this morning? Amen. Part of the family of God. Amen. I tell you, you may or may not have a family quite the size of ours. Um, ours is pretty big. Uh, believe it or not, we did meet a, a, a pastor the other, uh, here a while back, I think it was last year, that actually had us beat. So there's always someone out there with a larger family than, than you got. But I tell you, folks, we are part of the family of God. Amen. It don't get much bigger than that. Amen. And one of these days, folks, we're going to get to see that other half that's not been told. Amen. There's a great cloud of witnesses in heaven, the Bible says, that's cheering us on, saying, you can do it. Amen. Don't give up. There's so many people. 
it just breaks my heart to, when I look out into the world and I see those that refuse that free gift. Amen? That free heavenly gift. You know, the Bible says we're going to sit around a great table, marriage supper of the Lamb. It says Jesus Christ himself is going to feed us. Think about that. The King of kings and the Lord of lords is going to serve you at his table. Amen. Imagine what a buffet that's going to be. Every question you've ever wondered why you had to go through this or that in life, why you had to face this trial or this storm, it's all going to be answered on that day. Amen. And the best part about it, every tear that you've ever shed, God's going to wipe them all away. What a reward for those that diligently seek him. So if you've not made your reservation at that table this morning, at his seat, God's got a special seat just for you that no one else can fill. No other shoes can fill it. He's got it waiting on you. Amen. What a promise. What a privilege to be able to sit at the table of the king and partake of all the blessings of heaven. Folks, there's a reward that moth and rust doth not corrupt and that thieves can never break through and steal. It's eternal riches in heaven. Those precious, exceeding great and precious promises that the Apostle Peter talked about is waiting on us. And I don't know about you folks, I don't want to miss it. Amen. I've come too far in God in this race to, than to turn around now, than to give up now. The finish line's just ahead. Just over the horizon is the finish line. And God's fixing to call his people home. So if you've not made your reservation, if you've not answered that, that heart cry of the Lord, to come and dine. Don't miss out. It's going to be worth it all one day. We're going to have the kids sing this song. It's called Part of His Family.
bless y'all. Thank y'all so much for having us out this morning. Amen. Give them another huge hand. Amen. I had an online viewer a while ago that, that said, that young girl really impressed me. And then another, and then another. They just kept on impressing, and uh, we, we have been blessed this morning. We have been so, so very blessed by your entire family. And uh, I know Shannon, she's way back there in the back, running some things back there, but uh, we are so blessed by everyone. And, and I, I want to say something also today before we go, and that is that uh, this family, y'all know I've talked about them to you many, many times, but this family, I, I love them so very much. I appreciate them so very much. Uh, and there's something else that I know. I know that this family goes through things just like the rest of us do. How many of you go through things in life sometimes? And uh, I know that God loves them as a group, as a family. I know that God loves them individually also. And so as we go today, if it's okay, I'm going to ask everyone, everyone to pray for y'all. And if you're able to stand, I want you to do that. Just stretch your hands forth this way. Those of you that are watching online, likewise, if you'll just stretch your hands forth and pray for them today. Father God, we thank you for this incredible group that has come here today to be with us. Father God, we just thank you for the love that you have for them. God, I thank you for the collective love you have, but also thank you, Lord, today that you love each of them individually. Lord God, each one of them is special to you. And so, Lord, I pray today, God, that you would bless them. God, that you would minister to them in a very powerful way. Lord God, we realize, Lord, that we're all living and walking, breathing in this world, and we have things that happen in times. And Lord God, I pray that you always just bless them, protect them, watch over them, strengthen them, encourage them. Lord, I pray that you would just bring them by your spirit today, just an encouraging word to each of their lives. God, they have been a blessing to us today. And Lord God, we just purpose today to be a blessing to them in our lives, in our prayer time. And God, we just thank you for it in the wonderful and mighty name of Jesus Christ. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Amen.